Black. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Black. Uh, decided to do a video. Went and got some more games today to fill out my collection. I've been playing a lot of 3DS. I'm feeling Samurai Warrior, um, Samurai Warriors Chronicles. That shit is crack. I like that. Um, it has a real good RPG hack and slash feel. Or should I say, hack and slash? Um, I mean RPG slash hack and slash, whatever you want to call it. But it's a hack and slash game, but it has RPG elements um, in it also, like equipping weapons, upgrading weapons, that type of shit. Um, so I decided to give those type of games a little bit of a try. It's been a long time. I know those. It plays like Dynasty Warriors, but I haven't played a Dynasty Warriors game in a long time. And um, it's kind of Dynasty Warriors has kind of been done and dead to me. I've been playing those games for years when I was younger. When I was younger, um, just because the, it was surely amazing to have that many people on screen at once back in the days to fight a full-out war. Uh, so I decided to give some of the newer games a try, just because I haven't played them in so long. And I was I was having so much fun with the um, 3DS version of Samurai Warriors. I said, let me give it some of these other um, full-fledged versions of the, some of these titles a, a shot. So I got Dynasty Warriors Strike Force, which is like um, dy regular Dynasty Warriors, but the, it's really, really sped up. It's like Dynasty Warriors Dragon Ball Z style. Like, the fighting is really, really over the top. And if anybody's played Dynasty Warriors, how much more over the top can you get than that? I mean, it's like an it's like a J Japanese action flick already when you play the regular Dynasty Warriors. Well, they got even more over the top. The characters, cause they don't really fly. I don't think. I think it's more like gliding or something. But they basically could fly, basically. Um, and they can transform into like these other forms where they get more powerful. And every character has one. And they moves change up. They have different finishers. Um, you can equip items and weapons. Um, these Dynasty Warriors games are, are real deep. I, just, I don't like the regular Dynasty Warriors too much. I don't like the characters, Boo Boo and all, Lubu or whatever the fuck and all of them. I don't really, I don't really like them too much. I know they're in this, but this game plays a lot differently than the regular Dynasty Warriors. So that's what I want to see. I want to see if this is a new spin on Dynasty Warriors. I want to try that out. Then I got, um, Shingoku Basurai, which is also a, a really, really good game. It plays just like Dynasty Warriors. It's cut from that same thread, but it's not made by Koei. It's made by Capcom. Um, Shingoku Basura is based off of an anime. Um, I actually saw a couple videos for this game, and I decided to um, go check out the anime because the game looked really interesting to me. So I went, and I, I've been watching episodes of the anime on YouTube. And it, it's really good. It's a real good show. You got you have to let it grow on. You got to watch more than um, two episodes before you, it really sucks you in. It's really, really good. It's really, really deep. It's a little hard to follow with all the crazy um, character names and everything. But um, it's really, really good. And it's really, really deep. And the action is insane. It has really insane action and insane art. Um, another game I bought for the Wii, which is also a very interesting game, too, in the series of Samurai Warriors, Samurai Warriors 3. Now, Samurai Warriors 3 is the only Samurai Warriors game um, I believe that's what I was told. That's ever been on a Nintendo system. Um, and it's also only on the Wii. So if you want to play Samurai Warriors 3, you have to have a Wii. It's only on the Wii. It also gives you a, a character customization. You could make your own Samurais in this and um, customize them all the way down to the scars on their face, to their body armor, everything. I thought that was pretty freaking neat. Um, instruction booklet is really, really thick and it's in color. Which is pretty awesome also. I always know I tell you guys about the color instruction book and booklets. Let's see if I can find a good picture to show you. Some character art. Something. I like how you could use the GameCube controller or the, uh, the um that thing, the arcade sticky thingy that the Wii has. All the, it, it gives you a really um, versatile manner of controlling everything. Like, you don't have to have just the Wiimote, you can use other things also. It, it is a color book, but it's not a lot of art in it. But it is in color, it's a lot of game screens in color. It's still a pretty thick book, there's other languages though. But anyway, good good games, um, three good games that I'm going to enjoy playing sooner or later. I'm not going to start playing them anytime soon, but I'm going to get to them. Uh, then when my kids came home, my son seen I went to GameStop, so then he started begging me to go to GameStop. So, being the good dad that I am, I guess, uh, I know, being the good dad that I am, 
I went and um, took him to GameStop, and I got him a new Spider-Man um, Shattered Dimensions game, which is a Spider-Man game. Oh, got me again with the hat. Which is a Spider-Man game where um, you play as Spider-Man across different dimensions. Meaning, like, you could be Spider-Man in the future, and then you'll be Spider-Man in, um, like, a New York Dick Tracy type time, time era. Um... Then they have a black suit Spider-Man, which I thought black suit and then, um, the regular suit Spider-Man was from the same universe, but apparently they're not. They're linking together some of the newer Spider-Man stories with the older Spider-Man stories and made, them, and made it into one game. I've seen every Spider-Man in here except for the, the um, newer Spider-Man, the um, like the Dick Tracy Gangster Time Spider-Man. Um, I got those, and then I got... Boom. I got um Final Fantasy uh, Final Fantasy Decidia Duo DCM 012. Now I don't know what the title is about, Duo DCM 012, all that. That's a little crazy for me. But um this game is incredible though, I know that. This is an incredible game. The first game was incredible. It's something that if you like Final Fantasy and you ever been one of those people that are really intrigued with the characters, you know, you maybe you want to get an action figure or you wish you could actually hold the busted sword in real life. You know, there's a lot of fanfare in this game. Like if you really um, like the character designs and the character, the lead characters in Final Fantasy. And it brings an idea that I always thought would be really cool of what if you had a, a game that brought all the Final Fantasy characters into a fighting game. I thought about that a, a while ago when I was in high school. Um, and there were less Final Fantasy characters. Now there's a lot more. A lot of time has passed. And somebody else thought it was a good idea too. And it's basically Final Fantasy Smash Brothers. Just all the Final Fantasy characters in an all-out um, battle going on. I'm not sure the story for um, this game. I know the first game in the series is a battle between good and evil and the, the god of good, which is Kronos. Um, how it gets all the um, heroes from the Final Fantasy games and puts them all together against, I believe the bad guy's name is Hades, if I'm not making a mistake, um, against the, the, um, bad, the bad god Hades, and he gets all the villains from Final Fantasy, and then they have a, a fight, since the guys, I guess they can't fight themselves, they hire off all the Final Fantasy characters from the good and bad sides, and they fight in the name of, of them. Um, this is going to be a real good game, I'm going to unbox it real quick for you guys. I wasn't going to, but I said, hey, I unbox everything. Let me unbox this right quick. Then I go watch my Samurai Champloo Blu-ray is on pause. Got the whole series, Samurai Champloo. Go check that out, too. One of the best anime series I've ever seen, Samurai Champloo. I mean, not only is the show good, the music is incredible, too, and it's just incredible. Okay, there's a code right here, which I don't really expect too many codes in portable games, but there's a code right there. Um, yeah, it's cool book art. There's this more art though. It's pretty neat. And the UMD has a little art on it too. Turn it upside down because this is the, the picture is upside down. Yeah, pretty cool. Let me get to playing this soon. I see, I think these are the, the two gods. It's the bad god and um, the good god. This can't be happening. Why the hell do you put your hand together? You're winning. Yeah, it has color pictures. It has more characters in it this time. They put Tifa Lockhart in it. They got Yuna. Got Lightning. Laguna. Got Van. A lot of new characters. Always good character art. You know, I'm not, sure, I'm not too sure, but I believe these are, these are, um, these, all these characters are done by Tetsuya Nomura, who does all the, um, character art for Final Fantasy. You know, and he's really freaking awesome with it. Tetsuya Nomura is no joke. Even got Yuna Leska in there, and I heard she, did, she does, like, summon fighting. That's gonna be real neat to see. The hottest bitch in Final Fantasy, Tifa Lockhart. And this bitch is a mean brawler with the hands. She's a monster. My favorite character in Final Fantasy VII, Hung Cloud. Alright, that's really it for now. 
Um, subscribe, leave some comments, um, some other games. Mortal Kombat comes out next week. I don't think I'm going to get that because I bought a lot of stuff this week. So I'm probably going to skip Mortal Kombat next week. And it's not really biting my interest. And I got a lot of fighting games. But we'll see. You never know. I might pick it up, though. So don't sleep. Maybe not the first day. I might wait until next week, Friday, maybe to get it. Um, let me check with everything on, on the um, schedule. But um, Real Gamer Stand Up, leave some comments or any questions you got about anything else. You want me to review or talk about something. Real Gamer Stand Up.